And joining me now is Daniel Pomerantz. He's a journalist. He joins us live from Jerusalem, Israel, to talk to us further about the Israel vaccination drive. Good afternoon, Daniel. Thanks for joining the program. Thank you. My pleasure. Now, COVID-19 cases are rising in Israel and the government is now offering a booster shot to people over 60 who have already been vaccinated. Now, is there a real urgency for this third dose or is Israel treating it as a precautionary measure? Well, it's an interesting question. If you ask the Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett, he's saying that there is urgency. But if you listen to Israeli health officials, they're for the most part not entirely convinced that it's completely necessary. However, what health officials have been saying is that they don't believe there's any harm in taking it. Uh, even though it hasn't yet been approved by the FDA, they expect it will be soon. And based on the science, they don't see that it would be harmful to take it. Uh, but those, um, those health officials aren't convinced that it's necessary. You see, the way immunity works is we, we tend to, to look at antibody levels because it's real easy to count and, and take a number and, and put it in a headline in the news. But the truth is, that uh, immunity in the human body is mediated by a number of other factors, including T cells, B cells, and other systems in the body. So even when antibody levels decrease, that does not necessarily mean that uh, immunity protection has decreased. Okay. Now, Israel initially started the vaccination campaign in full strength, but slowly started seeing a rise in numbers. Now, are the majority of those currently in hospitals vaccinated or unvaccinated? Do we have that information? We do. You know, right now we have 73 people uh, in hospital uh, from, from, this, uh, from this recent Delta variant in the past month. Compare that to what we were seeing previously, which was something like 1,000 people per day being admitted to the hospital with the uh, original variant. Uh, or the original uh, virus. So first of all, those numbers are vastly reduced. Of the 73 people who are in hospital, there's only one who is both fully vaccinated and also under the age of 60, and that person is, is in their 50s. And so what, we're, what we seem to see is that if you are fully vaccinated and if you are young, you are significantly more highly protected. And even over the age of 60, the amount of hospitalizations we're seeing is tremendously lower uh, than it, what, it, what it used to be. So the vaccine is clearly effective. Uh, nonetheless, people are, are being careful and taking precautions. It is certainly worrying to see infections break out. Uh, the first person in Israel to, or one of the first people to actually get the third booster shot was Israel's president, Isaac Herzog, and his shot was administered by nurse Lina Ahmed. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that uh, Palestinians and Muslims and Arabs play a really important role in Israel's health system as doctors, nurses, and other medical professionals. And it's a place where Jews, Arabs, and Christians are working very hard together, side by side, to fight this virus for the benefit of everybody. Okay. Now, the restrictions were also relaxed almost suddenly. Masks were not considered essential, and people were free to move around. But given the circumstances, is the government mulling on new coronavirus restrictions and measures? Well, Israel's approach has always been to release restrictions gradually, check the data, and then if the data warrants it to open more restrictions or to take a step back and reintroduce restrictions. And that has always been the case. Right now, we are requiring masks in indoor spaces other than private homes, of course. Uh, we're not requiring masks outdoors. We had a system of green passports, meaning that you had to prove you were vaccinated before you'd be allowed into certain public places like restaurants, uh, although even restaurants were allowed to take unvaccinated people if they had outdoor spaces. Uh, that uh, green passport requirement was dropped. It's possible that it may be introduced. I've heard some talk about possibly reintroducing that. I have not heard talk about reintroducing masking in outdoor spaces. Uh, and and uh, presently, I heard one rumor about the idea of potentially doing another lockdown, but it doesn't seem to have uh, much support. And so right now, the uh, sense that most of us have is that we're not likely looking at, uh, at new lockdowns. Uh, I'll tell you a little story. I recently uh, was traveling and I came, uh, just came back to Israel and I flew uh, through Turkey. I caught a connection in Istanbul. And because uh, Turkey is on the list of red countries, I was uh, told to, uh, to go into quarantine for two weeks. Fortunately, they let me out once they realized I was only in the airport for a connection and hadn't spent a significant amount of time there. Uh, but it just goes to show you how careful uh, the government is being. Uh, it took me several days of paperwork just to uh, be released uh, after, after that uh, 
uh, overly cautious mistake. So the answer is that we may be taking a little bit step uh, back on, on some of the restrictions, but so far that hasn't happened yet. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, Daniel. And I'm really glad you didn't have to go through that two weeks of quarantine. That would have been very boring. Thanks for joining us once yes. again. My pleasure. Happy to be here.